Hello NYU, my name is Gabriel Ortiz and I am a second year NYO2 trumpet player from San Marcos, Texas. In this video, I'd like to tell you a little bit about one of my favorite genres of music, mariachi. Being a trumpet player, I have the privilege to participate in many ensembles and genres of music. Lucky for me, Texas was once part of Mexico, so we share the great culture of mariachi music and some awesome Tex-Mex food. Sadly, mariachi music is less prominent in other areas of the country and much harder to learn how to play. Lucky for you, this mariachi is going to help teach you how to spice up your playing. Mariachi ensembles ideally consist of around six violins, two trumpets, and an armonia section, which functions as the rhythm section, ideally consisting of a guitarón, vihuela, and guitar. A staple of mariachi is the looks. We get to enjoy just about the spiciest uniform in the industry, the traje, a tightly woven wool suit that no one can resist. Trajes were the attire of the charros, Mexican cowboys. When playing in a mariachi ensemble, you must always be sure to hold yourself up with pride to ensure that everyone in the audience knows that they're hearing a performance from a fantastic mariachi, no matter how tight your traje may be. I have long been scheduled to become a mariachi due to my family, receiving my first traje de charro at about nine years old. It was a hand-me-down from one of my eight uncles, many of which became mariachis. Sadly, I have well outgrown that one, and as it seems, I'm just about done with this one too. Now onto the playing style of mariachi. Mariachi is one of the most expressive genres of music out there. Just about every song you'll need to know will be about love, betrayal, death, or politics. Quite dramatic. And you must be sure to express that drama through your playing. Here's a few stylistic aspects that will help get you sounding like a mariachi in no time. Number one, dynamics. While dynamics should be done in most genres of music, they should be expressed to quite an extent in mariachi. While dynamic markings may not always be written in the music, they must always be there in order to express the music as it should be. Number two, vibrato. Going along with these expressive dynamics is the vibrato. Mariachi vibrato is unlike the usual classical shimmer in that mariachi vibrato is about 10 times more powerful, fast, and expressive. Vibrato is also done on just about every single note larger than a quarter note. This vibrato should be fast but still controlled in order to avoid hitting wrong notes. But when those notes do arise, simply move on and dismiss them as sabor, flavor. I will now play an excerpt from Las Mañanitas, one of the biggest mariachi standards for birthdays. First, I will play it as written. Now, listen carefully to the dynamics and vibrato. Very different, and in my opinion, more expressive. Number three, articulations. This mainly applies to trumpets and sometimes violins, but is quite necessary in order to produce a legit mariachi sound. You must be able to articulate nice and crisp for just about every note unless otherwise specified. You will also have to play many notes as short as possible. This calls for multiple tongue stops. Of course, this distinctive staccato is just one of the many mariachi articulations, but it has become a staple of the mariachi style. I will now play an excerpt from La Negra, probably the most well-known mariachi standard out there. You should learn it. Listen carefully for the short and crisp articulations. Step number four, 
listening. Listening goes for all genres of music and is especially useful in mariachi, a style you may not be familiar with. Ears are our best trainers and will allow you to pick up on many stylistic aspects of mariachi. Some of the best groups to listen to are Mariachi Vargas de Galetlan, one of the oldest and most well-known groups, which is usually accepted to be the best. Another one of my favorite groups is Mariachi Nuevo de Galetlan, a newer group composed of many members who used to be in the previous group I mentioned, hence the name. Another group you might want to find a recording to is Mariachi Nuevo Cascabel, my school's ensemble. I think they're pretty sweet. Now, I encourage you to explore mariachi music further than you already have. It's fun, broadens your musical horizon, it's exciting, and people love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my mariachi crash course. And if you or your hometown are less exposed to mariachi music, go spice it up. If you like this video and would like to see more similar to it, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to NYLUSA's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.